Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Rabia. And this is Sounds Like on Anderton's TV! So, it's another episode of Sounds Like, and we've got a very special guest, it's Mr. Lee Anderton. Who's basically here every day, <laughs> and the least special guest that you could have. But I had to gate crush this one because they're doing an artist that uh, inspired me to learn to play guitar. Who is that? Mr. Eric Clapton. Eric Clapton. Um, Prestige. Uh, a local Guildfordian as well, of, uh, you know, has lived around here for uh, um, all of his life as well, so we've seen him in the store once or twice. Ages ago, yeah, back in the early days of doing videos with Chappers, we, we attempted to do something like this, but that kind of talked you through the kind of the ages of him. So we did something with an SG and something with a, a Strat. I can't even remember, it was so long ago, to be honest, I can't remember. I actually it was it probably yesterday. rubbish, to be honest. It really wasn't bad at all. <laughs> um, so, but what are we going what? for then? Because Clapton, obviously, you know, he's used a ton of stuff over the years. So where, where do you think you're pitching in? My inner guitarist screams out the kind of SG era because really? I, because I liked a lot of the tones that he got. I remember seeing this interview with him on old British TV when no one knew what pickup did. Yeah. And do you remember that? Have you seen that yeah, interview? Yeah, yeah. And some of the tones he got out of that were just amazing, and that's kind of why I like. It's, it's, it's a nicer sound though. But I think the more famous stuff. I, yeah. When you think Eric Clapton, you go Strat, Blackie. Yeah, this is true. Do you though? Because, you know, isn't that just depends on when you got into Eric Clapton? It probably it, does. If you got into Eric Clapton, you know, back in the sort of um, Bluesbreaker days and, and the Cream days, mm. uh, th there were no strats, you know, that was all Les Pauls and, mm. and SGs nice. and all that kind of stuff. And Big Marshalls. Yeah. I mean, I was surprised actually, because I, I got into Clapton in the late 80s, which was when I sort of started to learn to play guitar, mid, mid to late 80s. So that absolutely was when, you know, Blackie was his kind of go-to mm. guitar and Fender had done him his signature series guitar and it had the mid boost and the noises mm. pickups and everything. And it was a, it was a, tons of effects, you know, if you think of the albums of those times, it was, you know, it had all kinds of different sounds, but he had that kind of, for me anyway, it was the first time he had that kind of wah wad killer mm. with all the mid boosts and everything from the strap rolled in. And I'd always assumed that was um, just a cranked Fender amplifier, but from what I've read, it's still very much kind of hot-rodded Marshalls and even Soldanos and stuff at that oh, time. Right. And the and the vintage Fender thing is is uh, a more recent. I say more recent, like you know, last twenty years, oh, whatever. Right, where it was just crank a tweed amplifier. The older he got, the the simpler the rig became. It was almost just like cranked tweed amp, wah wah pedal, and whatever guitar he. Fancy well, well, that's a bit of a dilemma. It though, is isn't it? because we only have fifteen hundred pounds. I mean, we could go really ambitious for those Eric Clapton lovers and have a couple of goes. Well, we could, could have a couple of goes, or we could just try and get an all-rounder. Well, okay, I, I think go. Um, let's do the late eighties one. A because I want to do it, <laughs> and B because that if you go earlier than that. Mm. It is just about getting a big Marshall and turning it all the way up to 10 and basically ruining your hearing. And I think we should bring my trusty Classic Vibe smashed up. Oh, nice. It's all about the Classic yeah, yeah, yeah. Vibe. Yeah, because that's got the Clapton mod mm -hmm. in it. We should add how much that costs to the price of the Classic Vibe as well. Yeah, not a lot. About 50 quid. Well, there you go. So, so yeah, not a lot. All right. Um, so, should we go shopping? We should go Let's shopping. <laughs> yes, that's the one. Uh, have we just got a Classic Vibe 50 Strat on display? This is a Squire Classic Vibe and I guess the first thing you guys are probably going, well it's not black so it can't be blacky and I guess that's a bit of a fail isn't it? He did because have he had brownie though. He had brownie. Yeah, he did have brownie but the iconic one is, is blacky of course. and that's the one that Fender put the, the mid boost in. This is a maple fretboard, it doesn't have the V-shape profile on the neck that his mm. sort of American sort of blacky strap would have but to be totally honest with you you can take this guitar what have you got 300 and 400, 400 quid, quid. Yeah. I mean we love these we, yeah, we've, we've they've saved our lives so many times <laughs> <It's> almost, <laughs> it, they, maybe they, maybe this should be with like the Marshall DSL amp in like the band file it's, it's all like, come full <laughs> circle um, 
but we're not going to use this actual one. We're going to use no. the one I bought about is yours, two years ago. Is yours ago. the same, but with the mod? Yeah, it's exactly the same. And yeah. I'll, when we get into the video room, I'll tell you what I modded okay. on mine. Fine. But that's what I would use. Well, there you go. That's, that's all right. right. So that's 400. Yeah. Let's say four. Let's say 500, because then that covers more yeah. scratch plate and mods. Yeah. The captain has spoken. Let's maybe assume actually we might be more like 650. Oh, okay, it's quite expensive. And mods and everything. We're eating that budget straight up. Yeah, so yeah we, we can do it. We got yeah. there. Eight fifty left. Yeah, that's right. That's nice. easy. Uh. I'm not so sure anymore. Again, from what I was reading, doing a bit of research, I'm not so sure that it is actually, or was actually at that time. I mean, I want something old and tweedy and Cheryl tweedy. That's too expensive. That's 2,091 pounds. This, this, this is more in the ballpark. 719. Uh, it's the wrong, even though it's tweed, it's actually not really a tweed circuit amp. You, you're probably better off with bass breaker. What about Blues yeah. Junior though? Blues Junior again is too clean and too sort of black face sounding. Right. You want something a bit darker and something that's going to overdrive a bit more. Okay. So you think a base break? Could we go? A, could we go a bit bigger than that and still have budget? Because I literally right. do just want my guitar and a wah wah pedal. So if we can't go with that, what's the eighteen thirty? That's eight thirty. Oh, no. That's eight fifty three. Well, so. That's the whole budget, folks. Okay. Never really played slide. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can go blues cube. I mean, we could go blues cube if you think it's going to achieve the tones that we're after, because it is more of a gamble when you just get a straight up valve amp and, and hope that its gain structure is close to what you want. Because we fall into that trap too many times now. So many times. Let's go 15, but I'm gonna. Yeah, let's go. Let's go bass breaker 15 and a wah wah pedal. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's everything that we're gonna realistically need. What kind of wire do we get? A standard Dunlop. We get a Vox. We get a Crybaby Mini. See, I'm not. So what? What? How much is that? 500. 480. 480. 480. So we've still got. So at loads. So I could buy the most expensive wire. I don't need the most expensive wire. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, you can go like a hand wired wire if you really feel that that's important. What about the uh, exotic one? Just because. It's exotic. Well, that last time you used a an EQ pedal for that mid boost. Did I? Of course, because it was before I'd even done the, yeah. the strap thing, wasn't it? No, okay, let's, it doesn't really matter. So that's the, John Petrucci one. I've heard Clapton's a big fan of his music. <laughs> I think he um, was quite influenced by him on his last album. I'm going <laughs> to use the... <laughs> I don't really, honestly, man. That's I'm not. I'm pounds. not enough of a Vox, uh, of a wah aficionado to really. Well, it's basically, really I reckon, can. standard Vox or standard Crybaby. I say standard Why Vox, Vox except it because it's, it's just we're on a budget here. But I've got. Budget. I've got my rent to pay. We need. A, I need to. You know, I've got my fuel to pay. But I've, I've, I've sacrificed, you know, guitar and amp money so that I can have an amazing wah wah pedal. I don't even know why I want one. <laughs> have you? Is he throwing his wahs out the pram? <laughs> Vox standard, it's seventy eight pounds. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's the, the V eight four seven. I'll just yeah. and if it's rubbish, that's why. That got progressively less Clapton esque as it went on. <laughs> Do you know what I'm happy about? Is it's there's I don't enough go back to listening to all the stuff that made me want to play guitar in the first place. And I think a lot of the stuff that I listen to now is more complicated and and it never I just like to go back to that. Taking stuff. a trip down memory lane. Yeah. It's but it's like that we, we I found that in doing this whole series. Yeah. And it's that I like, you know, I listen to Iron Maiden and go, oh yeah, you slide that. Yeah. Well, like Guns N' Roses especially, I'm like, mm. you know. I've done that a few times in the last six months. Whenever I've had a, a long car journey to do, like, you know, a couple of hour car journey, I will go back and get an album from the 80s that just inspired me. So and it could be, I mean, this is like mega embarrassing bits now, but it, obviously all the Clapton stuff, so that's amazing. But I had Peter Gabriel's So album on the other right. day, driving nice. down the M4. It's like, oh, man. <laughs> And then I just, and then I went a bit all Phil Collins on myself as well. And it was just like, <laughs> yes. and I just went, do you know, musically it was 
there was just some stellar stuff, a bit dark strikes. And that was pop, though. That was in the charts. Yeah, yeah. That's the what sad happened? thing. That is the sad thing, isn't it? Is that you're completely right. Where is, you know, if Eric Clapton was born today, he'd be pigeonholed as some sort of some sort of niche. He probably wouldn't even like be jazz famous. blues. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't it's get it's a bit like Joe Bonamassa should be in the charts. Yeah. You know, he's a, he's a he's a current guy writing stuff, playing amazing guitar. He should just be in the contemporary charts. But he never will be. But he's still a full stadium, uh, uh, arena, sure. arenas. Even. Well, yeah, yeah, but everyone just wants to see it twerk, 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 <laughs> and work, work, and all that rubbish. You know what I mean? Like. because it's not a stock Squire classic vibe. Apologies to any of you guys who've seen the video on Chappa's channel when we actually did the relicking on this. But about two years ago, I don't know if you can tell from the serial number, two or three years ago, I bought this guitar and it was just a shiny brand new um, classic vibe strap. And I wanted to Clapton-ify it. Then the only thing I really knew that I had to do was put this mid boost suck in, which is about 50 or 60 quid, and there's a 25 dB, which when you wow. think about it, it's like, that's like seven gain pedals in a yeah. row, basically, <laughs> dB boost, that's connected to this tone control. Your basic strat still can be relatively clean. But all of a sudden you get this from, from the tone control there. Nice. Um, so it's really important that you know the amp that you're gonna plug it into and that it's gonna handle accept that, yeah. that and handle yeah. it. There's no point doing it if it can't. And then it has this TBX tone control, which is really just the same as a normal tone control, except that it's got a center detente. So it can go, it can go bright. So in the center, it's like a normal tone control all the way up. Mm -hmm. So I've got more or less. Clapton did on his Blackie guitar is block the tremolo system off. So I started off with five springs just to see if that was enough tension mm -hmm. and it just kind of wasn't. Right. So it's just, we found a piece of wood that was the right sort of size and just wodged it in. So you can see now there's, there's just no way for the, the tremolo system to move at all. So and the you, thing is that, sorry to interrupt Matthew there, you can do this to, the, to a guitar like this. So you can spend the 390 on the classic vibe and then buy the yeah. whole scratch plate pickup set, can't yeah. you? Yeah, I mean, if anything, yeah. I was tempted, and I still probably will at some point, I think I'll take a nicer Strat and just do this mod to it anyway, because mm. it's just such a great mod. Do you think the whole mod cost? The piece of wood is free. <laughs> you just find one from nature. Um, yeah. The the tone thing, if you if you just buy it and want to fit it yourself, is about sixty pounds. Right. If you were going to have it fitted, it's about an hour to fit it, so maybe a hundred pounds in total. Yeah. The problem with the tone, the mid boost, and I suspect why Eric Clapton ended up using the lace sensor pickups on his um, signature strap is is noisy. Right. So or not, it's you can imagine if you if you've just got the tiniest sizzle of single coil pickup noise mm -hmm. and then you boost that oh, yeah. by 25 dB which I think in in real terms is like you know 500 times or something <laughs> I can't you know dB goes like every 3 dB doubles doesn't it yeah, so yeah. the mathematicians out there can work it out so you have to really use noiseless pickups now these are Seymour Duncan uh, STK 4s okay. which are not expensive I think these work out about 
somewhere between 150 and 200 pounds for the for the complete set. So I suppose they're fairly expensive, half the price of the guitar almost. Um, and there, I'm not sure if I'd do this again. I mean, I, I phoned up um, only because I, you know, I, I did a blatant, who do I know who knows lots about pickups? And I managed <laughs> to speak to Keith Merrow and said, what, what would you use? And, and he said, uh, I would use these. <laughs> DK4s are dark and you don't get that kind of... I mean, that's... That should be really on a, on a, on a bridge yeah. pickup on a strap way fiercer than that. So kind of so. pros and cons, mm. yeah, big and thick. Mm. But I was going to say, it may be worth taking into consideration if you've got a Mexican strap or anything of that, sure. then really all you're looking at is the scratch plate mod. Yeah. Um, to get the well, yeah, captain I mean, sound. The relicking is obviously just for just for fun. Yeah. Um, plus, Base breaker fifteen. Yeah. It it wasn't the amp of it wasn't an amp that I knew would do a job. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted something tweed, and that I could have mediumly clean. It's again, it's a it's probably darker than I thought it might be. So right. it hasn't quite got that spank maybe that that a, a gunned old. Blues you know, breaker or something. Yeah, or like a basement or a twin yeah, or something yeah, like that yeah. would have. It did a job. The, on, the only thing that I'm a bit disappointed with, and I blame it all on you because of course I didn't want this in the first place, <laughs> is the wah sounds really appropriate up until that last centimetre that you go to, and mm. then it very quickly goes from like a nice throaty wah sound into like a thin spindly mm, really wah sound. Thing. I guess with the, with the budget thing, we're always going for I don't know but, what Wild Clapton used. I've got, I'm pretty sure he just used a Dunlop Wild, but he used to get all the sort of the switching gods, didn't he? Like, yeah, was, yeah. It, was it Brad, Bradford or one of the, whoever the guy in the 80s that did all the boards mm. and mods for everybody? So he probably had all the guts out of his and just made it how he wanted it. <laughs> So there you go. So um, thank you so much for inviting me. To thank you for coming on our yeah, show. Thanks very much. It was fun to try and remember a few Clapton riffs that I hadn't played for a long time, and all the little, you know. Oh, it was great. Triplet things, or whatever. He <laughs> you does got the vibes just... going though. That was the yeah. thing. Listening to the lead work, I was like, oh, one man for the job. Yeah. I'm so glad it was you and not me. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. And I can get killed for saying nothing like that <laughs> you, because again, he's another one of those players that, um, you know. He was, uh, you know, uh, one of the founding fathers. He is, well, the, the top I mean, of it sounds game. almost mm. wrong to say it now, doesn't it? But you know, back in the sixties when he broke, there were like posters around London of just saying "God." You know, like, <laughs> he, he the literally Clap was. The is God. He was Clapton is God. Yeah. Wow. You know, so you just go a bit inappropriate, sort of maybe. Maybe say nowadays. That to some people, yeah. but but there you go. That sounds like Eric Clapton without busting the bank. Yes. We didn't bust it. Did we, we didn't bust. We it. actually, this is. I mean, we did go for the fifteen watt uh, base breaker, so it is a little bit. Mm. Cheaper than the one we were looking for. Mm -hmm. That's true. But it's actually quite a cheap rig. Less than one thousand three hundred pounds. Well, there you go. And obviously, you can invest in a different piece of wood in the back. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. go for whatever Spend, you want. If you've got three hundred pounds left over and change from your rig, it's a nice teak. Get some endangered Spend it there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Illegally smuggle some Brazilian <laughs> rosin from somewhere. Make sure that an animal died whilst trying to source this wood and use that because it will sound better. Because I don't believe in things like that. That's awful. And, and on that morally incorrect yourself. note, I'm gonna just say that you can find all the links to all this gear, including the mod. We'll put yeah, in the we'll description, in description box description. below. And um, thank you, Lee. And You're very welcome. Thank you for inviting me. That's all right. This has been... I've been Matt. I've been Rabir. And I'm just going to spin this guitar around so you can take a look at his ass. But I've been the captain. And this has been Sounds Like on Anton's TV. Bye. <laughs>